Have you ever had a case where more than one leg was lame or you weren't sure? I'm Dr. Lori McCauley with Optimum Pet Vitality and in this video we're going to talk about gait analysis, lots of good videos, when there's more than one leg lame and in Tilly's case the diagonal limbs. So Tilly came to me, she's a six-year-old spayed female, Boston Terrier, and she came post patella luxation surgery, but the first thing I noticed is that she was barely putting weight on her left front limb, which was the diagonal limb to the right rear, which is where she had her surgery. What I found out from her history is that she had a tendency, as a Boston would, to get excited and jump off the bed and splay. Well, what we diagnosed was a grade one strain, partial tear, of her pectoral muscle on that side. What she was recovering from is a patella luxation surgery done by Dr. John D. You know, the guy who wrote the textbook on surgery? Her cruise sheet was stable, but what we found when I got her x-rays is I was looking and I'm like, where's her tibial crest? Kind of scary. What's going on here? She's not putting a lot of weight on this leg. I called up Dr. John D and talked to him, great guy, and he sent me this x-ray. So in this one, same as the previous one, you look like, where, where did it go? But he said he learned a cool surgery where they did a partial, a partial cut of the tibial crust, slid it over, and put a pin in there, not through the crust, but actually as a wedge to hold it in place. So here it is, big picture, little picture. In this video, you're going to see, this is when I saw her, a very obvious lameness. She's like, ah, I'm not even sure if I want to put weight on that leg. What I want you to see here is that she's head bobbing down. So this is on a flat surface. She's throwing her head down anytime she puts weight on that leg. I'll show you in slow-mo in a minute. On the same day, we see this video where if we just looked from the back, we wouldn't have seen it. She says, oh, my left front hurts really bad. In fact, I'll even pick it up. In case you didn't see it, I've got it in slow motion for you. So here she is. She's actually throwing her head up and only using her right front leg, not even using her left front leg. And then she goes, oh, but that really hurts my back leg. So I think I'll stop and I'll, I'll walk with that one. And here it is in fast motion again. She's like, okay, I'll put weight on it. So what did we do? We said, okay, let's look at her going uphill and downhill. When she's going uphill, you can hear her panting. She is using her head to go down when she puts weight on her surgery leg. Right, you can see her head bob go down. Slow motion, head down every time she puts weight on it. Her head goes down, down, down. So we can see that her saying, hey, that really hurts. Then we look at her going downhill. And here you see, she actually has her head bob going the other way. So she's throwing her head up when she puts weight on her left front, to you right front leg. So head goes up with pressure on it, up with pressure on it, up with pressure on it, and there it is in real time again. All right, so overall, what's the take home message? Look at the whole dog. There's many, many times that we have, even when she comes in for post-surgical rehab, other issues. This one was just really big. And here you can see she can stand nice and square when we made her comfortable. All right, I hope you had fun. I hope you learned something. I'm Dr. Lori McCauley from Optimum Pet Vitality, and I'll see you next time.